it's Rachel welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome today's video I'm so excited it's something I haven't done in quite a long time but I thought it was fitting because I have the Hella palette from Odin's Eye in Angelica Nyquist and the palette she lasted with Kaleidos I did a palette bingo on so I thought it would be really fitting to do a palette bingo on this that's what we're doing today, as well as hanging out and eating nachos, so it's going to be a fun time. Also, I'm testing out a new camera that I just got for early for my anniversary that I'm so excited about, so if you guys have any thoughts on like lighting or anything, how things look, let me know. I'm working on it. Let's zoom in and get started. Okay, so we are nice and zoomed in, and if you haven't seen the Hella palette before, if you're living under a rock, it has this black and white sleeve and this colorful artwork on the front and a mirror, and then these are the colors it is stunning. And we are doing palette bingo, so it means I am having my number randomizer pick five colors that I have to use in a look. And it's gonna be really fun. Oh my gosh, I haven't done one of these in so long. How many colors are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, 4 times 4 is 16. I should have known that. Okay, Google, pick a number between 1 and 16. So the number 2 is the first one, which would be fluorescence right here and I do apologize if I keep looking like off to the side um my previous camera it had a flip up screen where I could like pay attention to if I was in focus or not and it was like right above the lens so it wasn't as noticeable but this one is on the side I'm gonna try and stare at the lens <laughs> um but if if you see me staring off to the side that is why so, oh gosh, fluorescence is so stunning. So let's see what happens next. Pick a number between 1 and 16. 11. Okay, so number 11 is 4, 8. So I believe this would be number 11, Hellfire, right here another beautiful shimmer. I hope to goodness I get some mattes because I I can do an all shimmer look but I prefer to have some mattes in there. So I'm just swatching them so not only can you guys see what they look like but I remember what colors I'm supposed to use. Yeah <laughs> it's helpful for both of us. And then let's ask again. Pick a number between 1 and 16. Nine. Okay, so that would be a matte. I'm so excited. The color Wolf right here, which is a very neutral, like, I, I would say brownie yellow color. I mean, I'm not the best at colors, but it looks like a yellowy brown, which I absolutely love that type of color. And I think we've got a good color story going on so far. I'm going to take a quick nacho break pick a number between 1 and 16 7 okay so that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven. another shimmer um I don't know why I'm swatching it before I'm showing it to you it is venom right here have it on my finger it's a darker shimmery green Ooh, look at that sparkle. So pretty. I need, I need my juice box to go with my nachos. Those are really salty. Ooh, oh. Delicious, but salty. And I'm drinking juice boxes like a five-year-old. Pick a number between one and 16. Alright, it picked number four. 
that is the final color and oh it's a mat yes it is DK this mat right here um, I'm really excited so we have like a mid-tone mat and a deep mat let me just add that to the little color palette we got going on my hands so you can see okay yeah see oh yes I'm glad I got like a mid-tone mat and a deep mat that makes me so happy where's my eye primer though I rearranged my entire filming desk to accommodate for this new camera I don't know where things are I don't know where anything is okay found my eye primer so I'm going to prime my lids with Urban Decay I really miss the more I use my Urban Decay I miss my Sigma Persuade but I, I'm I'm using it because that's what I got and what I paid for maybe next month it'll be in the beauty budget to repurchase the Sigma um, and if you're wondering also the rest of my face I will try and remember to like take a picture for myself so I can link everything I used on the rest of my face down below but basically the standouts are the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation, the new Dior Forever Highlighter, and this lipstick from Ciate which I don't know if they carry anymore but it's a super beautiful like uh, uh, I can't even describe it. It's in the shade Spark in their Glitter Storm formula. Yeah. Okay, so... Mm -mm. I think looking at this, I want to go just pretty standard with like this in the crease, this in the outer corner. And we'll go from there. So I'm just taking a fluffy brush. Oh, whoo there's a lot of kickback on there and putting what's this called wolf yeah I'm just putting wolf in my transition area first packing it in and then blending it out if you guys are curious about the camera that I got for my anniversary it is I think it's the Sony ZV-1 it has like basically it's a point and shoot and if you buy the little kit it comes with this little grip that's also a remote and a tripod and it has a little fluffy thing for the nice mic and it's basically an all-in-one vlogging camera it's not anything like super technical or fancy but like that's what I wanted I I am not someone who knows how to do anything with cameras where okay taking a more condensed blending brush into decay yeah I'm not someone who knows really how to do much with camera settings or anything I want everything just to be like turn on the camera and oh okay that looks more like gray green than I was expecting I was expecting more brown but like I don't hate it um, but I just want to turn the camera on and like be ready to go you know I don't want to set up a mic I don't want to set up like my light settings I don't want to do anything it even has a school button I don't know if you can tell the difference but I turn it off my background is normal I turn it on it gives me that nice blur in the background so handy so I'm really excited about it because I feel like it's basically like my type of camera like and <laughs> I feel like an idiot like me can use this camera and I'm so excited about it so if you guys are interested I will have that link down below but I'm just gonna take the original blending brush and mesh these bad boys together okay so that's what the mats are looking like I think they're looking really nice um I do know that like there are other primers they could blend on a little better but like I think they look good 
I also wanted to answer the question of what camera did I upgrade from. It was, uh, let me pull it out, the good old Sony A5000, which I think was released in like 2014 or something like that. Like it's really old. It overheats all the time. It's just really given me a lot of problems. It's created a lot of wonderful videos and I've enjoyed it, but I want to upgrade. So hopefully this will be a nice upgrade. Shimmer time. Shimmer time. Should we use glitter glue? Hmm. Yeah. I think today is a day for glitter glue. I always use the NYX one. Like that's my go-to glitter glue and I usually apply it with my fingers but today I don't want to do that so I'm taking a, just a very flat brush and all over and using a glitter glue and making it like sharp like this can also help give you like a fake cut crease look. FYI if you're lazy and want eyeshadow hacks. Yeah. And now I have extra on my hand because I used too much. So okay so we used Wolf and Decay. I think the next one should be Golden Bridge which I don't know how I got like hair but that's golden bridge on the brush and I'm just going to pack it on to the out outside I've never used Odin's eye before I've always wanted to but like I never wanted to pay for shipping but <laughs> even though I'm on a palette no buy when this uh collab came out I begged my husband to get it for me as a gift for Valentine's Day. I had to have it, but normally I'm like, international shipping, I'm not paying for that. So yeah. I'm keeping an eye on the time also. I keep checking over here because I don't know if this camera automatically shuts off after 20 minutes or not. This is literally my first time using it, so we shall see. But I'm gonna go in next to fluorescence. And put that overlapping and towards the inner corner, but leave the fully like the inner inner area blank, but just give it like a green kind of ombre look. I have this nail brush that's like super tiny, and I'm gonna take just a little of the excess glue that was on my hand and then go in to Hellfire. Oh god, it's so pretty. It's really chunky though, like... Maybe it was because I put the glitter glue on first, I don't know, but... Oh yeah, that is it. That is... That is what we wanted. Do you see that pop of peach? Okay, I just got a chunk of Hellfire up 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 here and now it's like sticking because I had glitter glue on my brush Ugh. can we buff that away with some wolf maybe I think that's as good as that's looking I'm just gonna take just a a light dab of decay and go over the outer edges so just dab it off on my hand over the outer edges where it meets Golden Bridge. And I think I want to take a more like dense brush into Wolf to try and really rough up that area but still have it be Wolf colored because I want that Hellfire gone. Get out of here, Hellfire. So this is how it's looking so far. I think it's minus like my total mess up over here with Hellfire. Like, don't look at this eye. This eye is beautiful. But 
I've used all five colors, so I think on the lower lash line it should be like whatever I want to do. And I am feeling that peachy moment. I don't exactly have a peach eyeliner, but I have this baby pink one. So I'm going to put this on the waterline. So I put that. That was from LA Girl, by the way. It was the Pastel Dreams uh, baby pink. And I think I'm going to take a combination of Hella... Okay, Hella, Goddess, and Suit. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see where things go. So I think I'm going to take on a super tiny, like, tight lighting brush. This is called the Waterline Liner from Sigma. I'm going to just take Suit. Is it Suit? Suit? How do you guys say it? Just put it right tight, close to there and flick it out towards the outer corner. Okay, this is an eyebrow brush, but I needed another definer style brush, so I'm taking Goddess and putting that uh, tight and blended. I'm not, I'm not using words. Um, tight on the lower lash line, blended into soot, suit, soot. It's like root and root. Like, I never know what I'm saying. Is it root beer, root beer? I don't know. My husband always says I'm saying it wrong. He's like, say it again? Say it again? How are you saying it? Say it again? <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay, and then a smudging type brush in Hella, which is that super light peachy pink and I think maybe I want to take I'm just using Hella to smudge those two colors out but I think I want to take like a fun like either river or double sided to really make things pop I don't know we'll see um I need to like dust things away there goes freaking Hellfire, being a menace, okay, I, I think it's shutting off because it just went like dark or is the battery low? Why is it dark? Let me be right back. Okay, I'm still learning this camera. The screen like dimmed, but there's like, it looks like 50% battery, so I don't know why, but I just went back and checked the footage and the footage isn't dark like the screen looks. So I, I think it's okay. Uh, I'm just going to take double-sided this multi-chrome right here. I'm super excited about it. I am going to take more glitter glue to make it really intense and that is going to be like my inner corner shade that I blend down. Okay so it's a tiny brush, I don't know if it's focusing but this is double sided like it's freaking phenomenal and oh! 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 Okay, that was maybe too big of a brush. We're gonna have to like work on this, on blending this out. Oh. This side looks better, surprisingly. See, my screen just went even dimmer. Like, I don't understand. Okay, I'm just gonna take the wolf brush. My finger. Finger is always the best blending tool. Okay, so that is pretty much the look. So let me go throw on some liner and lashes and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. This is the look with all five shades and more from the Odin's Eye and Angelica Hella Palette. I really love this look. This isn't the first time I've used this palette, but like 
This is my favorite time. So pretty. Um, I know it's restocking, I think, March 22nd, but I believe that is the final restock. So if you guys want to get your hands on it, definitely sign up. I think they have an email reminder, and I'll put the link down below, and you can be reminded so you don't miss out on this amazing palette. Um, what do you guys think of this look? Uh, I'm obsessed. I can't stop staring at myself. Oh, a freaking, how do I get purple on my chin? Oh my, oh my, how did that happen? This is a job for the powder, no powder. Mm hmm this thing fixes everything. Oh. All gone. Okay. So, yeah, what do you guys think of this look? Do you think I did a good job with the colors that I had? Um, would you like to see more videos with the Hella palette? Please let me know. Also, your thoughts on how this new camera looks and sounds. I would love to hear that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.